and sisters today we'll be talking about open doors open doors you understand if you open the door something will get in you open the door maybe something good can get in something bad can get in normally in the <coughs> the world God was talking about open doors there are open doors where we open the door to the enemy the Lord sealed uh, put an age around us as uh, you remember with job <coughs> they will say that because you put an age around him that's why uh, he is not he's not untouchable but we have an age around us because jesus christ is in us jesus christ is around us we have the age that but if we open the door then there is something can get in in, 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 in Opening the door is really being ignorant or ignorant of the word. When you know the word, you you recognize what's going to happen. I always talk about recognizing the schemes of the devil, knowing the scheme of the devil. I remember the Apostle Paul saying that we know the scheme, his, his scheme, the schemes of the devil, his tricks. What he, use, what, what he uses to catch you, what he uses to catch you. He may use demon, he may use your brother, your sister, your mother, your hey, somebody close to you. He may use, but you recognize it. So we, I, I thought this, lately, lately I've been talking about open doors, and that really uh, the Lord put in my mind to try and talk, talk about talk up talk about open doors to let you know how to fight it, how to avoid it. So the title could be open doors or the fight the open doors. So here, here, here is what's going on about open doors. Uh, when the first, first open door I'll choose because I won't know, I'll be just staying in one open door. It's a uh, uh, offense. Refuse to be offended. When you are easily offended, you open the door. Because uh, our Lord, God is love. God is not easily offended. God is love. God, when you offended it means that you telling God you're gonna fight you want to do it yourself we represent we are represented by love if you leave uh, you read uh, Corinthians I think first Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 uh, talking about to to be a uh, love is not easily offended are you easily offended if you are easily offended there there is a door you opening there is a door opening because if you stay in peace then the lord then you are filled with joy so you work on staying in joy avoid avoid opening your door so let's read uh, uh, today i pick the only uh, i think uh, today the, the 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 chapter I feel like it's the best chapter for today. We will take uh we we'll take Psalm Psalm chapter nineteen verse one 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 hundred sixty five. You know for uh, chapter Psalm uh, chapter nineteen talks about the word I love it the word of God. So the chapter nineteen tells us and i love i love this version which is a new uh, american version which is tell, tell us that great peace have they which love your law and nothing shall offend them if you love the law nothing will offend you for us the law i believe we are represented by jesus christ if you love the word of god if you love jesus christ you will nothing will offend you that's the that's the uh, the key to help you not to be offended not to be offended is having forgiveness ready at all times i remember one of the pastors used to say that well it's good to forgive before even something happened you forgive your wife before even uh, she she come she come uh, she, she she makes a mistake or she does something 
to offend you uh, so that you get you you get all puffed up uh, angry uh, you have to have a strategy we know the schemes of the devil he's gonna use somebody close to you he's gonna use somebody uh, far away he's gonna use and uh, he's gonna try to torture you persecute you as you know yourself that those who are in christ those who want to live godly shall be uh, will be persecuted uh, second uh, I think uh, second Timothy 3 uh, 3 12 it will be persecuted so be careful so if you know the scheme of the devil you will know easily what to do the other thing is that in case things happen stay calm and think about it. How are you going to react? And the Lord, well, the Spirit of God will tell you exactly where you are. What to do. Where it comes from. But the key here is that if you abandon things in God's hands, if you love the law of God, if you love the word of God, and you abandon it in what the word of God says, which means that in case of you are offended, or the sudden offense comes, you look at it, you forgive. You say, forgive us what, uh, what debtors as uh, We forgive those who offend, offend us, those who do bad things to us, or those who sin against us. So you want God to forgive you, so you have to forgive. When you forgive, you let God uh, do what he knows how to do. You remember it falls everything falls again in what we say that god say vengeance is mine what are we getting into it he's fighting for us he does well don't open the door in that way being offended it may be a little offense little by little it gets bigger even a little one make sure you kill it before it goes it stays longer than you we all human beings things happen you look at why did this person disrespect me you say it yourself and you start being puffed up and pride it just comes in you and it really transforms you and you become bitter and you open the door to the devil that's the devil what the devil wants because your joy disturbs him your calmness your peace disturbs him also the, or the way he comes to you to cut you and really steal your joy and uh, disturb you is you being offended you open opening the door so the offense brings him in so i think that's what i have for you today i felt like uh, it is important for me to, to to stop on time because for you to digest what we just talked about digest it and we have more with open door open door because the christian is strong when he put all his trust in jesus christ put your trust in jesus christ don't try to defend yourself to fight for yourself but put your trust in jesus christ when you talk when you fight you fight in him not in yourself because you can't do anything remember uh, this is John, John 15 talking about uh, hey, you can't do anything without me you will do nothing that tells you that uh, hey, hey, you whatever you do Jesus is there and he promised you I will never leave you and never forsake spiritually if you abandon him you left him there then he is not there you don't want you want him to be there and he, he promised he, he, well god is he, a faithful god he will never leave you never forsake you he is with you in that battle so uh, digest this think about it and if you have any question you can ask and i will i will answer if i don't have an answer i will ask somebody so and i will ask the holy spirit us uh, we, who, who has all the answers we can we can we can look for so thank you for listening god bless you and we'll talk about more open doors okay god bless you and see you uh, soon thank you